Welcome back out of Body Explorers. Today's video is about information, gratitude, and how my storyline connects to one of these informational sources that I want you to know about. Now, you should know about a lot of the truthers are out there speaking the truth. Now, Glenn Beck, it's a video that I'm going to keep in the description. Glenn Beck is a podcaster and he has been speaking the truth. And I love this video, it's 13 minutes and you should put it at 1.5 speed because um, he tells the story a little longer in a sense uh, and speed wise. So what you need to know is that story that he speaks about is the story that I'm gonna talk about and story time at the end of my video. I am obviously an out of body explorer jumping into these timelines. And what I love about this Glenn Beck video is he, I'm not alone. He just talks it into dream state, but I'm gonna tell you, he just quantum leaped, just so you know. And he's also meeting other beings, so don't think that he's only meeting uh, the dark side. He's meeting the light side too, and I'm sure he's gonna talk about that in the future. So all these videos are in the description that I just mentioned, but I wanna also thank Mark, who always gives me the perfect video at the perfect time, and he is also part of my Great Awakening situation. So thank you, Mark. So I'm dedicating this video to him. I'd like you to remember that my channel is also about information. So when I get these channeling messages from God, I will also give you these messages. So I just wanna say thank you, and that's really important. Now, Here's my story, and that's connected to Glenn Beck's story. And I was kind of waiting to get it out there because it's kind of a little scary in some way, and I don't want people to be scared when you jump timelines. But don't forget, when you're jumping timelines, you're also jumping and seeing some of their past lives, and that's important for you to know. So in Glenn Beck's situation, he meets a figure that I meet, and so here's my story. So you should know, in 2018, I was being really harassed at my job. So God was like, it's time to put your foot down. So I was in the process of suing them. So they decided to give me a court date. Court date was around 2020. This is an antibody that happened on December 2nd, 2019. All right, so I am still waiting for court date at that time. So I was sitting in the school district and two students who betrayed me, they were twins and an Asian girl, and they showed up and they wanted to say sorry. And now I was like, damn it, I'm in an out of body because I couldn't feel, I didn't know really where I was up until they came in. And now I'm like, oh my gosh. And it was very interesting because the person, the two people that came in, one was a salutatorian who basically didn't go to school on test days and then would go to school the next day to make up those tests because she got the answers from people. Hey, like them apples. And then the other one were two sets of very, not very nice people. But I accepted their apology. Now, that was a rare event, people saying sorry in that place. Very rare, okay? And you pray on them. It usually works. So as I was waiting, um, finally, I feel like a nice presence. So just so you know, the lead dog in this entire suit that I was against, uh, let's call her Lorna. Um, it ended up being her office, and I felt the presence of her. So I was like, wow, she's gonna come out. But I felt, I felt good. And as soon as she came out, she looked like that. And I was taken back that I was like, wow, thank gosh, I already knew that I was in and out of body because I would have been like, whoa, that was horrible. But the feeling of her and the presence of her was good. And she came up to me and said, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry that, you know, we did this. And I was like, okay, and I accepted it. But I did not want her to come near me. I did not want to shake her hand. I said, yes, thank you. And I put my hand on my heart and I was like, I'm out. And as soon as I got out, I, I woke up and I was like, thank gosh. And if you really need to see it, how you like them apples? So when those situations happen, you just do a ho'oponopono. So I already knew that her spirit was saying sorry and that my spirit is able to move further. Now I've seen a bunch of situations on her lifetime with people at my job, obviously, and I could see where it all happened. So that'll be another video in itself. And now why did I bring that up? I mean, really, Hellboy, Hero? Yeah, the CIA owns Hollywood, and I've been saying that in my other videos. So, but that's a representation of that situation. I never saw that movie because it's so vile to look at that person. I was like, no, I never did. So I only found out later that Hellboy was a hero. Let's be real. Hellboy, a devil, a hero. It was to try to make people understand that vibration. So that's really important. But you really need to listen to Glenn Beck's video. He will tell you, I kind of spoiled it to a certain degree, but I love his story because I was waiting to introduce that to people. That these are forms and figures that are coming into our lives and that need to correct the vibration. So 
having a Ho'oponopono with these people, it really puts you in another light. And you gotta remember, hurt people hurt people. On that note, I want you to stay in the high vibration with people that are informed of the light. And I'm putting another one, and we know, and I know I did a video on him, uh, LT. I love the way he ends his informational videos. He's all about the light, and he connects you with God at the very end. And that, I feel, is very important. Okay, out of body explorers, see you next week. Press like and subscribe, and we will talk about this again. See ya.